so the second activity we're going to do is call ubiquity of microorganisms. Ubiquity means that microorganisms are found everywhere. An older term for that is used by scientists as cosmopolitan. Uh, the last time I ever heard that was on um, Tombstone, if you watch that movie. But uh, there's two ways to do that. There's a direct method and an indirect method. And so we've selected four different environments to examine. The first environment we're going to do is we're going to examine a toe or a foot in between the, the toes, okay? And then we're going to examine the back of, it, of an ear. And then we're going to look at the bottom of a shoe. And then lastly, we're going to look at a dollar bill. Okay? So anytime you're doing surfaces to study the microbiota, the microbiome, the microbial load of uh, an environment, what you have to do is you have to make sure that that environment is flat as possible. If it's not flat, you have to correct for that, for those curves, because you need to be able to select organisms that might be on the, in that particular environment. So the way we correct for that is we use a sterile applicator stick and some physiological saline. Physiological saline is 0.98% um, um, sterile sodium chloride. It is um, isotonic, and so if you come in here and just get it wet. In microbiology, the term is wetted, and that is a real term. Not many people use it, but you can see I just get it wet a little bit. I wring off the excess saline at the very top of the tube. And then I'm going to come over here and just kind of swab in between the toes, kind of tickle. And once I do that, then I'm going to take this and I'm going to use the roll method. And so what I'm doing is I'm transferring what, uh, whatever microorganism might have been on Olivia's foot. And I'm just simply going to roll it onto the surface of the plate. I'm not digging into the plate. I'm just gliding on the surface so that whatever might have been on the swab is now transferred to that particular plate. Okay? So we're going to continue on with ubiquity. And um, this is Ricardo. And he's volunteered to do two different swabs, which would be kind of interesting because I think that you're going to see the same type of microorganisms in both of these sites. The first site we're going to do is the back of the ear, right? So again, I'll need a sterile applicator stick. I'll open that, take that, and then get it wet with physiological saline. Wring it out a little bit, get the excess off. Then I'm going to come back here, and I am going to swab the back of the ear, just like this. And then, again, use the roll method. And so take the swab and just kind of roll it real gently on the surface of the plate. Again, that's going to transfer any microorganisms that might be on the back of his ear, which are probably, if you guys are thinking, oh, we're going to get a virus. No, we wouldn't get a virus. What we might get are bacteria, fungi, and another type of fungus that's a yeast, and we might see those, right? The second um, environment that we're going to look at is the beer. And so I'm going to ask Rick to uh, take off his mask for just a minute. And I'm going to quickly come over and I'm just going to take the plate and I'm just going to make an impression of his beard on the plate. So as I come over, you can actually see where I've made an impression of his beard on this plate, and we'll see what grows, right? So these will all be incubated at 37 degrees Celsius, 98.6 for those of you who don't like degrees Celsius, and we'll see what happens. Okay. So we're continuing on with ubiquity, and now we are going to do some sites, some environments that are going to have more soil organisms on them. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to do the bottom of Dr. John's shoe. And so again, because if there isn't a flat surface, I'm going to take a swab, I'm going to get it wet with physiological saline, wring it out, then go in. And you'll notice how clean that swab is. 
But when I come here and I just simply do a little bit of just swabbing the, the bottom of the shoe, you can see how much debris I picked up, right? And so I'm going to use the roll method again. Just simply kind of roll the swab that has picked up whatever might have been on the bottom of John's shoe and transfer it to this medium, okay? And then we'll incubate that for um, 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. The last thing I'm going to do is I borrowed a dollar bill from Keith and I'm going to go ahead and make a direct impression of the dollar bill. So dollar bills are a lot uh, more contaminated than a hundred dollar bill and mostly that's because nobody wants to handle one hundred dollar bills, right? But dollar bills are filthy. And so if we take a look at this, I'm just going to take this dollar bill, I'm going to make an impression, just going to directly put that dollar bill on that and then I'll just turn it over and just do this this way and we'll just find out what types of organisms and how many organisms are on this dollar bill. Now this dollar bill is still good, so I'm going to give it back to Keith. Okay? I'll, we'll show you the results at a later date. Thank you. Okay, ready?